Okay guys, I was thinking about why we're doing this. And I know I say this in videos a lot. Why are we doing this? Why are we getting healthy? But they don't all make it onto the computer. Uh, because they do a lot of video. And then days go by and it's just not worth putting up anymore because it's no longer. It might be relevant, but maybe it's not. So this will just be a quick one, hopefully and raw so I don't have to edit and do stuff like that but the Shea Loss program or program <laughs> maybe that's what it's become now the Shea Loss contest we have some fat dude with a beard who's totally awesome say hey we got a contest get fit come and join us and we all do and probably 90% of the people are gonna quit and 10% are gonna do good and 5% are, are going to do extremely well. They're going to get to their goals. And it's the same rule. It's the same numbers for success in life. And we were talking about it at work the other day. All the information we get to help change people's lives. Very few of us are going to do the things we need to do to help those people. And in our own lives it's the same thing. I think one of the biggest things that can help us achieve and realize our dreams and our goals is knowing why. That question why is so important. It's the thing that connects the hard work and the consistency needed to achieve your goals with the end result which is your goal. Um, if you connect an emotion or a feeling to the goal you will achieve your goal if you say I want to make a million dollars and don't know why you're never gonna make a million dollars if making that million dollars means that your family is secure and if you die tomorrow having made that million dollars they're gonna be okay there's a really good chance that you are gonna find the easiest and fastest way to make that million dollars you're gonna make it happen because the reason is to safeguard your family and it's the same with our health why do we want to lose weight because we're fat because we're fat isn't the reason because we're fat is what we are because I'm out of shape isn't enough reason to actually do the work to get well um, it's not about your body it's about your mind and when you make that connection that everything we have to do is just a decision I don't drink I don't smoke I don't do drugs because I don't it's a decision that was made that has made my life very easy in that respect someone puts a beer down in front of me a bag of crack I don't go through oh do I want that do I not hmm maybe I oh just one just just one 20 rock that that'll be okay now it's easy because it was a decision that was made so we have to do that with our health as well because when someone sticks a burger down in front of us we know how good that is we know how tasty those fries are we know see some of you right now are like oh man I could go with a burger and fries ah oh, dude full-time dad you suck you made me think about this no it's not that because we're surrounded by temptation all the time so it ain't me you can't blame me you smack yourself we're surrounded by temptations all the time and lots of us don't fall into those temptations because we've made a decision the last time I tried to lose weight was last year when my wife's boss did it and he lost a lot of weight on the GI diet um, he's maintained it because he changed his lifestyle he changed what he eats he got rid of the garbage food he made a decision I lost almost 30 pounds and then over the course of the year gained it back 
because I went back to eating the same crap I ate before. Um, also, that decision last year wasn't really mine. My wife wanted me to lose weight. She wanted me to do it more than I wanted to do it. So, in that time, I got down to <clears throat> to 218, which would have been fine. Like, I mean, it's still way over what it should be. But then I got back up to what? 2, 240. What did I come back to? 245, 244, right? That's way too big for someone my size. But this time, and I got to say, a lot of this is because of the excitement and the fear of doing this stuff online and then not following through. Because there's a lot of people that have seen my videos who I know. And I've made this commitment to myself and to my family and to my wife. I've made a decision that I'm going to be a healthy man. I'm going to be a dad who's alive at graduation so I can walk and, and, and wedding so I can walk my girls down the aisle, God willing, so that I can be around when they have kids and give me grandkids or great grandkids. And it's a long way off. But if I'm dead, I'm 31, if I'm dead, 10 years from now because I have a heart attack because I'm too fat then that's just selfish it's selfish and it just shouldn't happen a lot of what we're suffering with I say suffering I'm not suffering but some some people are some people are at the point where their weight is such it's such a hurdle to do a lot of things that you miss out on a lot of life now I hate my hunting boots because I got to tie them up and while I'm down there, my belly's squishing my diaphragm, so I don't breathe. I probably pass out half the time I do my boots up. You should not pass out doing up boots. We can all do this. And those that don't do this, those that don't follow through with their commitment to themselves, I don't care if you lie to me. Nobody out there cares if you lie to them. They'll be disappointed. But you don't owe us anything. But you do owe yourself something. Because only you can make the decision. It's not going to be pressure from other people that make you want to do this. There's got to be a connection. And I made that connection early in the summer. I didn't do a lot with it. But I made the connection on my wants and my goals and achieving them. you got to connect your goal to an emotion. And then you'll do it. That's all I'm saying. Find your reason why you're doing this. It is super important. Until you know why you're doing it. And and know how important. When someone says why are you losing weight. You should have the answer right there. Um, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, you don't know your reason why. Know your reason why. Own your reason why. Take control of your life guys. I'm so excited and so proud of you guys. Thanks for everyone who's supporting us. Uh, the people I know, um, don't be so sneaky when you sub. Let me know who you are. It's kind of creepy when you just show up and say, Hey, I saw you online. And I'm like, Hey, how'd you find that? Guys, it's not too late to get involved either, okay? Um, sure, it's not going to be about money, but who cares about the $500, really? Um, you know, I mean, if you need the 500 go go crazy with that. But the new people... Just because it's past January 1, get on board. This contest runs to the 30, 31st of March. Pretty sure it's going to be going a lot longer for a lot of us. Make the change. Change your life. Love you guys. Running out of, running out of minutes. Bye-bye.